Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you this super bright look and this is using the Urban Decay the Electric Palette. I'm so excited about this palette. I have been actually counting down the days and look at those colors. I'm not even going to swatch it. Ah, there goes my brush. I'm not going to swatch it because there are so many other videos, so many other pictures out there of them swatched so I don't think I need to do that. They're absolutely wonderful. I use quite a few of them to get this look. Um, I absolutely love it. I am also using the Urban Decay, the Ink for Eyes. They finally came out with a felt tip. It is absolutely fantastic. So we're going to do this real bright colored eye. I absolutely love it, especially with summer coming. So I hope you have fun with this. Try it out. Don't forget to subscribe if you like it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Okay, so I primed my eyes with the Laura Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. And I'm going to take regular scotch tape and I'm going to take two pieces and I'm going to put them on the back of my hand so they're not so sticky. And then I'm going to put them on right underneath just to ensure that my eyeliner and the rest of my eyeshadow is in a nice perfect straight line. Now I'm going to take the NYX Jumbo Pencil. This is in Milk. And I'm good. I, as you can see, I'm gonna put it on my eyelids, but I would suggest taking it all the way up to the eyebrow. I stop at my eyelids, and then you see me start to put on eyeshadow, and the color's so much more vivid with the white underneath. And you see me go back and redo it. So just save yourself the headache and go all the way up to your eyebrows. So this is the Urban Decay Electric Palette, yay! And I'm going to start with the thrust color, or thrash, sorry. I'm going to take this bright green and put it in just the inner corners of my eyes. And once I saw how bright it was with the white and not just on my skin, they're already super bright, but with the white they are really bright. And here you can see I'm like making up my mind and this is where I go back. Put it all the way up to my eyebrow. And this just makes it so it's going to blend much easier and makes the whole thing pop. I'm glad I did it. Should have done it in the first place, but oh well. And just blend it up with your fingers so there's no harsh lines. And I went all the way down and then just blend it and then I'm going to go back in with the thrash color and just touch up where the white went over it. Now I'm going to go in with Freak and this is the other green that's in the palette. I'm going to take that and go over the rest of the lid keeping it under the crease mainly. And I'm going to take it all the way out to the tape Now I'm going to go back in with the thrash and just do a quick touch up. As you can see, I didn't even change the brush. I just used the same brush. Since I'm making them so they blend seamlessly, I didn't see the importance of using two different brushes. You can do that on your better judgment. Now I'm going to go in and this is fringe. I'm going to take a crease brush and I'm going to go right in along the tape, kind of winging it out and then going right in the crease.
Okay, so now I'm going to go in with Gonzo, and I'm using a nice, it's actually a blending brush what I'm using. It's just a nice fluffy brush, and what I'm doing is taking that, putting that right over the fringe, and going right above the crease just to give it a real nice pop of the blue between the greens. And the reason I'm using more of the blending brush is just because it's super soft and it's going to make the application a lot more seamless, blending it a lot better as you go. Plus it gives it a little bit softer edge. And I'm going to go back in with the fringe and just slightly go over the crease. Sorry that my camera keeps going out of focus. There we go. But yeah, just touch up just on that outer corner where I've winged it. Now we're going to go in with the slow burn, that nice bright orange color. And I'm also taking a blending brush for this, so it's going to be very soft. And very lightly, I'm going to take it in right above where I already have the green color, right up to the eyebrow. And I'll bring it all the way down to the inner corner of the eye and just very lightly along the edge, blending it. I don't put a lot of product on the brush because I didn't want it to be, I wanted to build up my color instead of just putting a bunch on right away. But yeah, just light feathery strokes, blending it right on top of the, the green and the blue. Or right above it, not really on top of it. And same thing on the other side, going from about the inner corner all the way up to the eyebrow, keeping it above the blue, just lightly blending it in around the corners. And I'm only going to let the color fade out to right where the arch of the eyebrow is. I don't really want to do that whole entire section, just so it fades. It's kind of a watercolor effect. Gonna go in real quick with the gonzo, just in case any of the red took out any of that blue. And real quick over with the freak. Just want to make sure that all my bright colors stay nice and bright. Here we go with a blending brush, no product on it. I'm just going to quickly blend over all the colors, just where they all meet so that way they all blend seamlessly. Now I'm going to go in, this is the Stila. The Stay All Day Wicked Winer, and this is in Call World. They came out with this color, I want to say this spring. But it's a nice color, it's a matte blue, and it's almost the exact same color as the Gonzo. So as you can see, I'm just doing a normal cat eye. I'm taking it along the tape. I'm making it a pretty dramatic eye, so I'm making the wing pretty big. So the thinnest parts you want it to be is, of course, at the very tip of your wing and then right on the inner corner of your eye. And the thickest part is the little triangle that's on the outer corner of your eye. Between your wing and the outer corner of your eye should be the thickest part. 
And that's one nice thing about the tape is I just feather right over that so that way I get that nice super clean sharp edge when I peel up the tape. So this is the Stila, the Sparkle Waterproof Liquid Liner. They don't make this anymore, actually for decent reasons. It's kind of transparent when it dries, so I had to put a blue underneath just so it shows up. I'm not a huge fan, really, of it, but it's sparkly, it's blue, and it also helped this look out. Um, Urban Decay makes a liquid liner that is sparkly and it's not translucent, actually has really good pigment to it. I will list that down below. And you can still get that, and I it's actually really good. I wish I would have gotten that one instead of the one that I'm using right here. So you can just go and just stay with the cobalt blue, which that look is just fine. I really liked it, but I wanted to add a little bit of sparkle. So anything, you can take a pigment, and put a pigment over your liner or like I said I'll list the Urban Decay liner down below. So now we're going to peel up the tape and now we have our very sharp nice cat eyes all blended out. Got to clean up the edges a little bit in case there was any tape marks or anything. Now I'm going to go back in with the color Gonzo and I'm going to put that right underneath my lash, bottom lash line. So after that I'm going to take my Napoleon. This is a black gel eyeliner. I'm going to take an angle brush and I'm going to make a little wing underneath. So they're not touching. There's a little bit of space, just a little teeny wing. I'm going to do that on both sides. My steel a smudge stick, this is the black one. I'm going to line the inner ribs and where I've already put the little wing on the bottom, I'm just going to blend that together. So now I've lined my inner rims with black. I'm actually going to take the white, this is the Urban Decay pencil, and I'm going to just do the very outer corners and bring it out just a little bit between the lines. I'm not going to really do it too high, just a little bit so the outer corners of your eyes appear more open. This is just a quick little trick. You don't have to do it, but I did it just. And this is the new Urban Decay. This is the ink for the eyes. This is their new felt tip. It's waterproof. And I'm going to stick that right in the lash line. So I'm not going to go over very much. Like I don't want to cover my blue, just a very thin line right in the lash line. And this is going to make your lashes appear much blacker and fuller when you put on your mascara. And of course, I'm so close to the mirror and too close to the camera that you can't see what I'm doing. But I'm doing the same thing that I did on my other eye. So now I'm going to take my Stila. This is their highlighter and kitten. Usually it comes in the eyeshadow form, but it's the same thing. I'm going to put that right underneath my arch. And I also took the Urban Decay, the white pencil, and put a little bit on the inner corners, as you can see. All of a sudden, now I have some white pencil on the inner corners. I'm going to take that highlighter, go right over it. All this did was just make it pop a little bit, make my eyes look nice, big, and bright. Do the little L shape and the inner water or outer lighter line. Oh my goodness, I cannot talk. So I'm going to take whatever product's left on my brush from the highlighter and just go between the two little wings and underneath the blue one. Now for mascara, that's the Too Faced the Better Than Sex one. And I applied three coats on 
and actually I didn't change my camera or my lighting or anything so my lighting's gonna skip around because every time I paused it for some reason the aperture changed on it and you can see it's slowly fading into its normal color so sorry about the color change so what I'm doing here is I'm just cleaning up any fallout that I might have had and making sure that there's no eyeshadow on the rest of my face Now we're going to take that Steela highlighter and kitten and actually use it as a highlighter right underneath on top of the cheekbones. And as you see, my light changed again. Now this is one of the MAC lipsticks. I think this is one of the Nicki Minaj ones. This is the Milan mode. And this is just a nice pink. And that completes my look. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun doing it. It's a really nice bright. And there goes my camera. There we go. Focus. So anyhow, I hope you enjoy it. If you like it, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to see my other videos that are coming up. And I hope you have fun trying this out.